keep your head, arms, and legs inside of your seat. You are in for an informative ride. Hi, my name is Sierra, and today I am here to inform you about the thrill of roller coasters. I have done extensive research on this topic, as well as, as, well as have had many experiences conquering the California roller coaster. I will demonstrate how roller coasters are awesome by talking about the history of roller coasters, how roller coasters are made, the safety of roller coasters, different U.S. theme parks, and finally, the United States' fastest and largest roller coasters. Our first stop on this ride is the history of roller coasters. The concept of the roller coaster originates from the Russian construction of ice slides. Author of the book Roller Coasters by Todd Thorgmartin claims the slides were built after the discovery that people would pay to be terrified. As you can see, ice slides resemble the structure of a modern wooden roller coaster. American entrepreneurs quickly recognized the potential roller coasters had, and thus in 1884, the first roller coaster was created in the United States. It was called the Gravity Switchback Pleasure Railway, and it was located at Coney Island. This coaster was unique for its smooth tracks and was developed by Lamarcus Thompson, the nickname, who is nicknamed the father of gravity due to his major developments in the roller coaster world. After his retirement, he passed his talent along to John Miller. John Miller was another successful roller coaster designer who designed over 130 roller coasters in his lifetime. Other innovations that made history were the invention of the loop and steel tracks. The first loop was developed by the French in 1848. The coaster failed miserably, and it wasn't until, 19, until later that steel tracks were created and the idea could be revisited in the 1900s. The Matterhorn, created by Walt Disney, was the first ride to use steel tracks and plastic wheels. This technology allowed for a smoother ride and more flexibility. The history of these coasters provides fundamental knowledge for engineers to plan and create newer and better coasters. Next, I will talk to you about how roller coasters are built and made. In the book Roller Coasters from Concept to Consumer, author Kevin Cunningham provides an outline of the steps that go into the extremely detailed creation of a roller coaster. The first step is for engineers to make plans and calculate whether the coaster is physically possible or not. They do this using physics, math, and computer software. Engineers and designers also pay close attention to the components that we as a consumer might not notice. They plan the colors, music, materials needed, and scenes or backdrops to make each ride unique and attractive. These factors go into the creation of the ride's atmosphere and are crucial parts of the success of a roller coaster. Other steps of making a roller coaster include choosing the right building materials to build the coaster. A roller coaster is made of either steel or wooden tracks. As you can see, a wooden track is used for a more traditional and bumpy ride. However, steel tracks can be used to make a lot of turns and fast rides. Steel coasters are often different because they're smooth and pliable. They allow for as many twists, climbs, and inversions that are humanly possible. Once the building materials are chosen, they are either built on site or shipped and put together. As you can see, steel coasters are excellent for on-site projects that require a lot of inversions. These projects are so large that only 20 to 30 new rides are created each year. Throughout the entire construction process, engineers are sure to incorporate safety at every turn. My next point is to ensure all you fearful riders that roller coasters are extremely safe. When the rides are first constructed, they undergo several tests. Sandbags are placed on the ride to demonstrate weight. You, later, dummies are used with computers inside of them, and they show what, how a rider might feel forces or weight from the ride. After the coaster is deemed safe, they become inspected daily and tested each morning. Some rides at the peak of the season may undergo up to three tests a day. Other safety features on the coaster include its wheels. John Miller, the roller coaster designer we talked about earlier, added a thing on his wheel, added a third set of wheels called the under friction wheels to make this coaster faster. These wheels prevent the coaster from flying off the tracks. The final fact that proves coasters are safe is safety in numbers. The International Association for Amusement Parks and Attractions conducted a ride injury survey that stated only 1,356 patrons were injured in ride-related injuries in 2013. Approximately 200 million people visit 400 parks in the U.S. annually. The IAAPA says the likelihood of being seriously injured 
is one in 24 million people. Theme parks have proved to be a safe outlet for extreme fun all around the world, which is why the U.S. has developed so many parks of their own. My fourth point is about the U.S. and the different theme parks in them. Opening in 1846, Lake Compens, located in Bristol, Connecticut, is the oldest operating park. Cedar Point later opened in 1870, and this grew to be the capital of amusement parks. Cedar Point is the second oldest operating park and is the home of 420-foot drop top roller coaster Top Thrill Dragster. Another well-known amusement park corporation is Six Flags, and it was developed in 1961, and this corporation includes 18 theme parks. While the parks themselves are very attractive, the size and space of some of these next rides will certainly draw th thrill seekers. Finally, I have researched the tallest and fastest coasters. King Dakar is the tallest coaster, towering at 456 feet and 128 miles per hour. Other coasters hold records for the most inversions or their type of coaster. Tatsu is a flying roller coaster at Six Flags Magic Mountain that is over 170 feet tall and goes 82 miles per hour. Psychologist Daniel Goleman states it is a deeply satisfying feeling in which mock danger provides the exhilaration of self-affirmation. Other psychologists, such as Franz Farley, predict thrill seekers crave the biochemical state that comes from intense physical excitement. Perhaps these neurological discoveries prove why a small coaster is never sufficient enough. So in conclusion, my purpose was to expose you to all aspects of a roller coaster. I have told you about roller coaster history, how the coasters are built, how the, they are different, the U.S. theme parks, and finally the fastest and largest roller coasters. Thank you for riding the Informative Express, and please enjoy this knowledge about U.S. roller coasters.